It's Learn TV. Hello, mga katropa. Ayos ba tayo dyan? Ako, ayos lang ako rito sa San Diego, California. Welcome to Learn TV. Kung bago pa lang kayo dito sa aking channel, please like and subscribe. Marami po kayong matututunan dito. Uh, mga uh, mga kaalaman na matagal nang nawala ngunit binubuhay natin para maintindihan natin ang kabuan ng history ng buong mundo. Ang uh, pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay isang bagay na na-discover ko nung ako ay nagre-research ng tungkol sa biblical calendar. Ang ginagamit ko ay ang uh, uh, Stellarium software. Ang Stellarium software ay isang program na i-install ninyo sa computer. Uh, free po to, free, na maida-download ninyo sa internet doon sa kanilang website. No, at tapos eh, yung inyong computer ay magiging parang isang uh, planetarium kung saan pwede ninyong ma-obserbahan ang galaw ng mga heavenly bodies kasama na ang buwan at ang araw. So, uh, naisipan ko na i-discuss natin ito no, para maintindihan ninyo kung ano ang pinaghuhugutan ko, kung ano ang basis ng aking Uh, mga pagsisiyasat at kung ano itong mga sinasabi ko sa inyo na na-discover ko. Okay? So, uh, inumin ko muna to. So, tulad ng uh, nasabi ko nung nakaraang video, uh, itong uh, research ko tungkol sa biblical calendar ay nag-umpisa nung panahon ng uh, pandemic like nung uh, panahon na walang makalabas ng bahay uh, dahil sa wala akong magawa <laughs> dalawa lang ang ginagawa ko ng mga panahon na yon either naglalaro ako sa computer o nagre-research ako sa computer and uh, ang nire-research ko nga nung panahon na yon ay ang biblical calendar at uh, ngayon ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga bagay na na-discover ko habang nagre-research ako at kung paano kung uh, nabigyan ng conclusion yung research ko at na na uh, na recreate ko ang biblical calendar tara sa computer okay so nandito po tayo sa aking uh, studio at uh, nasa harapan tayo ng aking computer at uh, ito ang gusto kong ipakita sa inyo na na discover kong cycle na tinatawag ko na 4 year cycle of the sun. Uh, kaya ako tinawag na 4 year cycle ay uh, every 4 years po ay nakikita ko itong uh, parang phenomena na ito. Okay? And so using the Stellarium software, okay, I am going to move the time. And let's start with 2023 because It's today's year, and this is the sunrise. Okay, as it happens at 6:54 in the morning. Okay, March 19, 2023 at 6:54. Okay, now we're gonna move to the next uh, year, 2024. Okay, and I'm gonna move the time a little bit so that it's sunrise. Okay. Okay, and as you can see here, the uh, the sun has moved to the right. And again, we're gonna change the uh, year 2025. Okay, and uh, okay, let's put east right there. Okay. And uh, here you will see that the sun moved again a little bit to the right. Okay. And then let's move 2026 and 
So here we are in uh, 2026. It's in another position as you can see. Uh, it seemed to have moved again. All right. Now let's go 2027. And let's bring it up to sunrise. And as you can see, it moved again. All right. So uh, if uh, you will look at this, you will see the four year cycle. Let me do that again. Okay. Let's start with 2023. Okay. The sun is here, right? Okay, 2024, the sun has moved again, right? So now it's there, right? And then 2025, it's going to move again. Oops. Uh, please like and subscribe. Okay, uh, this one is a bit as if it's very centered, right? And then 2026. Mm. Oops. Okay, this is 2026, right? And uh, as if the uh, sun moved again. And then right here, 2027. See there? 2027, it's like even moved a little bit far. Let's try 2028. Okay, 2028. And as you can see, it moved to the right all of a sudden, right? Boom, like that. See, 27, that's 28, 29 would look like this okay so there seem to be some kind of um, movement wherein the Sun all of a sudden switches to the uh, to the left all of a sudden the, it's moving right and then moves to the left watch so 2029 20, okay 30 This is 30, right? This is then 31. Okay, 31. And then 32. Oops, all of a sudden, it moved again. There you go, 30, 32. So, over a span of uh, a number of years you will see the uh, the Sun seem to move uh, erratically uh, 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 during the spring equinox however there seems to be a pattern so if I'm uh, if I assign this as one okay 30 32 being one okay then 30 33 uh, would be two this would be two and then the next one would be three okay and let's adjust the time this is three right and then 3035 this is four right and then come 3036 it will be look one again see one and then 30 38 37 13 37 would be two okay 13 30 20 38 would be three right and 30 39 would be 
4, right? 13, 20, 40 will then be again 1 as I have uh, uh, shown you before. All right, so let's have some fun with this Stellarium software. Like and subscribe. Uh, we are going to do what I call time skipping or time jumping. We are going to jump to the day March 19 of every year from 2023 all the way to 2040 and we are going to observe the pattern as I've told you. So there you go mga katropa, that's the uh, four-year cycle of the sun as I would call it. <laughs> I don't know if anybody would call it one thing or another. Uh, I don't know if the astronomers even know about this, you know, if they've seen it. Nakita na kaya nila to? Maybe they have a name for it. Uh, if you know the name, the astronomical term for this phenomena, Please uh, write a comment down below and let me know what it is, alright? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I am not an expert and I am not a professional astronomer. I'm just some amateur, <laughs> okay? So, uh, now that you've seen the uh, spring equinoxes, as it moves from year to year, I have a question for you. Now that you've seen it, which one of the four years, right, within the cycle, which one is the late spring equinox? Would it be one, two, three, or four? So write a comment down below if you can guess the answer to the question. Later, mga tropa! Don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you again for watching. Please support our channel by liking, subscribing now. It's free. Yeah, mga katropa, hanggang dito na lang. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you!